One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, enjoy the video, guys. What's up, everyone? Uh, it's uh, Tom Dizzo here. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Today, we just finished uh, with weekend mentoring uh, session. And uh, I've seen, uh, you know, uh, quite a lot of it, you know, same questions over and over again. And uh, uh, by doing, you know, uh, linking the the videos on 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 that particular uh, questions uh, you know some something came across my mind and there's one topic that you know haven't you know kind of uh, talk about a lot so uh, today i'm just gonna do a quick video on that and uh, since uh, i think it's not discussed before uh, i mean you know you you guys probably heard you know, a lot of us uh, talking about it daily but there's not a single kind of vi explaining about that uh, kind of more uh, in, in details and uh, so I, I just wanted to address that so today's topic is going to be trend following or like a uh, how to uh, trade uh, trends and uh, this is you know this is one of the strategy that sometimes I use apart from you know following the lines uh, drawing the lines and pivots and, and and all that resistance support right this is been kind of one one of my strategy and sometimes I use this as an indicator uh, and uh, you guys seen me a lot post it in the main chat uh, as well when you know it's it's pretty easy to kind of draw a trend so you you can you know you can say if the stock is following uh, you know a, a certain kind of uh, uh, trend on that day you know it was long is a short right and when the trend kind of broken you know for me as a short bias trader I'm, I'm more interested in those disregard or like a uh, uh, apart uh, from from the lines that I'm, I'm drawing right and because a lot of the time uh, I, I trade my my like my trades are based on line to line kind of strategy and uh, on some certain uh, stocks it's like uh, the, the stock is, is, re is really strong on that day uh, I, I try to you know keep it simple basically and, and I try to kind of draw a trend line and so I can have an idea of how the stock is going to move demand and supply and based on that I kind of form my thesis or plan my trades based on that uh, and uh, I keep with with the lines of course let's get into this I'm going to bring up some uh, the examples here uh, this is you know pretty uh, kind of straightforward and I think everyone you know could do that and as you can see here YT and YT Yan uh, it went up like on Thursday in the pre-market from uh, 7 a.m. all the way to like uh, you know this uh, like 9 uh, 70 right uh, in here I mean as the days uh, goes by uh, the chart kind of uh, form itself so uh, that's why we always suggest uh, for you to be kind of patient. Uh, that's why we suggest you to don't trade in the pre-market. So you let the chart form, right? And then you have like clear resistance or kind of support to kind of base all your trade off. Uh, and it's, you know, it's it's much easier than instead of trying to guess the top here. And let me put it like this. Uh, you know, you try to guess the top here, you're going to get stop out. It's like if you want to guess the top here, you're going to stop out here, guess the top, you know, guess the top here you got to stop out here and then you know it's like it's it, it's like ongoing ongoing and you know it doesn't kind of lead you to anywhere and you basically just anticipating the move and so that's why we suggest you uh here at mic to kind of avoid those just be patient and wait for the chart to form right you know ideally uh in the pre-market just wait for that and then you can attack it that open right so as you can see here 7 a.m it went all the way to like 970 and then it's just like grinding here this is for me it's more like a line in the sand uh, yes the top is temporary set 9.7 so if i want to trade this right <coughs> what would it be i mean okay so if if i want to trade this uh the top is set it went down to like eight so the top is uh, set now 970 if i want to trade this uh, i'm going to use that first resistance short right which is uh pop into that 970 and uh you know short into that resistance maybe risk over that maybe use a whole and half dollar mark maybe 10 line 
and uh, stop out over that, right? That would be my strategy. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. You know, and again, front side shorting requires front side coverage, right? Uh, same as Austin says, or so like Bow says. Based on that, I know exactly what I'm looking for, right? But if not, you know, that will be, you know, one of my strategy. The second one is I wait for the stock to kind of broke the support or like let, let the, the stock kind of broken first. And as you can see here, the line, you know, could be pivots here as well. Seven, you know, that's where the support is, right? Uh, you could say, you know, the last support of the stock, maybe the death line, whatever. Uh, and and right at the market open, it dipped into that support and then just bounced right back. As the days goes by at the open. So about the trend, what I would like to see is, I want to see the clear trend line to see where the stock is kind of holding, bouncing. Basically, you know, you, you could do a ch channel trading based on those, but what I would like to do is that I try to draw my lines or like a draw a trend line. You know, it's just really simple, right? You put it here at the line right here. And then if you draw it like that, as you can see, this is the trend line. Stock is like grinding higher and higher and higher, higher. And also we we'll put, you know, uh, like a high lows, high low, high low. This is to me more like an equilibrium kind of point right here at this. Okay. So, as you can, you know, uh, as you draw a trend line like that, you could see the equilibrium kind of point right at this one. So it's two scenarios, right? What would happen to this stock? Stock is putting, you know, high lows, high lows, and low highs, low highs, uh, low highs, low highs like that, high lows, high lows. So two scenarios is uh, it's uh, it's it's gonna happen here, okay? So basically, to me, this is the line the sand. I have no idea which directions stock is gonna go, right? So why do I need to anticipate? You know, if you short down here, you're going to end up, you know, stopping out over here. If you long over up there, you're going to stop out over here. I mean, this is like poor emotions for those, you know, like kind of newbies and uh, traders kind of anticipating the move, right? The longs anticipating the breakout over here, the short anticipating the breakdown over this line, right? And every time it got safe, support resistance support resistance and that's why you know bow i think bow did trade on that and he was basically scalping the channel here right here is like eight and then you could have a decent range here eight to maybe 7.5 be safe maybe seven so 7.2 and 8.2 that's like um, almost a dollar it's a dollar kind of range you know imagine if you could scalp that you know once twice three times four times you know five times almost you know five times a dollar let's say being conservative here is like 50 cents five times is like 2.5 dollar right <clears throat> but let's let's just say you're going to be really patient okay you're going to you determine the trend as you can see this is the trend this is the trend right the equilibrium point is right here so because you don't know which direction stocks going to go and you wait for that moment okay you wait for that equilibrium kind of point. After this, it's like, you know, to me, the range kind of tightens. You see, the bigger range here, and then smaller, smaller, you know, range kind of tightens. So this point, stock is gonna do two things, right? Either it's gonna pop up, or it's either it's gonna wash down. Based on that, this is what I call kind of confirmation for me. And after all this, and you know, like long and shorts, so they're fighting each other, here is the kind of uh, equilibrium point for them to say, okay, so this at this point, either the stock is going to go up or the stock is going to go down, right? That's a confirmation for me. So I hope, uh, you know, this video is helpful, guys. And then, you know, just more, just, uh, you know, an extra kind of tool for you to add in your playbook. And uh, if you use it right, it could be beneficial uh, to your trading uh, as well. So. I hope it's helpful. If you have any questions, you know, hit DM me anytime. And uh, I see you guys on the next one. Take care.
Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.